Hello, my name is Barbara DeWitt. I'm a National Wildlife Federation steward with the Broward County Audubon Society. Hummingbirds migrate because they're leaving the cooler weather where the f they were uh, getting their food source and following the flowers and the rivers south to where it'll be warmer for them. For them. It's a genetic and they don't need any uh, cues from anyone or any signs uh, to tell them to go. They just know. And the ones that migrate here, the ruby-throated hummingbird, are most common on the eastern United States, comes and migrates from as far up into Canada, uh, in New England, all the way down here to Florida, or it takes a, a little more westerly path and goes down over the Gulf and into Mexico and so, uh, Central America or even farther through Texas. There's several different routes it would take. Uh, there's not just one route like an airplane, but there's many routes for them. And they uh, leave the north in the um, September to come down here, and then they leave again in March. I believe they're, most of them are already gone uh, now in March, and they'll be heading up to the, to the places that they were last year. And hummingbirds have a memory, so they can go to the, exactly the same garden they were last year and feed again. And, uh, and uh, there can be pairs and they, they can mate and uh, have their young. Uh, and they, they know from one, one part in the north to one, one part in the south or one garden in the south. And they tag hummingbirds, so that's how they know uh, if it's exactly the same hummingbird that's going to exactly the same garden.